Where are we? We're in the Disney Cruise Line Terminal. Why are we here? I don't know. I don't know either. This isn't like us. I'm so excited. Right yeah. now, um, Frozen is playing and it's like, Royal Caribbean would never have Let It Go playing <laughs> in their lobby. <laughs> The lobby is pretty empty. Yeah, it seems like people are just getting on. It looks really cool oh, in here. Now boarding all groups. Oh, okay. Look, did you notice the floor is the, a map of the Bahamas? That's Did you cool. notice that? Like, look, this is Grand Bahama. We down. we were there. Yeah, we were there on a cruise before. And oh my gosh. Castaway Key right there. It's, it's this big. Yeah. <laughs> look, I'm going to go. And we're going to be there tomorrow. And I'm there right now. <laughs> this is fun. And we have the, the Disney Magic model, which is really cool. That is really cool. So this is the inside of the Disney Magic. But we're not going on the Magic. We're, we're not. going on the Dream. Is this the same class as the Magic? No, it's, it's the Magic is smaller. OK. OK, let's go. What are we waiting I'm sorry, for? I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. We have to go through Mickey's head. I love that. We're going to discover Uncharted Magic. Discover Uncharted Magic. I'm excited. This is, I've never been on a Disney cruise before. This, that's huge. This is really exciting. It is. They're going to ask us what to say. Should we say the Carrie family? Because my name's Carrie and your last name's Carrie. <laughs> yeah. We booked this cruise literally three days ago. It was on Tuesday and today's Friday. We got a really good last minute deal, but I've never been on the Disney Dream before. I've been on every other Disney cruise ship except for this one. And I like that because we get to discover it together. Yeah. So I'm so excited to see what Carrie thinks about a Disney cruise. Me too. We're going straight into the atrium. Hi there. Can I get your last name, please? Sure. Carrie? Please welcome to the Carrie family. Thank you. We were just taking selfies in the atrium. I didn't know that Mickey was here. He's literally there the whole time and you didn't notice. And he's in our photo. <laughs> One thing that I can already tell is that you're right. Like the service, like the people that work here are very high quality yeah. people. Even, even like the people who are doing security. Or even the porters too, taking our bags. For sure. Disney Dream, please welcome aboard the Patrick family. It's Mickey. This ship looks really nice. It's very pretty. Like, the design is really... Like, even look at the carpet. Rooms will be ready soon, but we're going to have our first meal from Flo's, which is probably not a typical first meal. But Carrie has to send a quick email. But we got some plates of piping hot chicken tenders. Probably going to have this and then head to our room. So on the pool deck here, they have pizza. They have the chicken fingers, which is what we got and burgers. Wow, sandwiches. Sandwiches. And like healthy stuff, which is like boring and stupid. Why is that here? Where's the dessert? The smell on board this ship is like better than like royal. I can't hear. The I, smell. Oh my God. The smell is amazing. Yeah. It's like, it's like vanilla. It smells like clean cookies. With our last minute cruise deal, we got a guaranteed room, which means we did not get to pick which room okay. we have. I don't know what side it's on. Oh, okay, it's on this side. Wherever the star is pointing, that's forward. It's forward, so we have to go aft a little bit. Wait, now, I don't think we're going the right way. We are. Oh, okay. Now I understand why it's called fish extenders. Now this is from Enchanted. It smells so good in here. Okay, here it is. That's where it's coming out of. Oh my god, right by our room. <laughs> okay, we're room 6120. We don't really know what this will be. This is a surprise. Do you want to open it? I love this music. <gasps> wow. That was magical. So this is a veranda room. It's a family one, which means it's longer. Oh, is that what that means? I think so. I got us something. What'd you get us? Oh my god, did you really? Uh-huh. And I got the Minnie Mouse one and you got the Mickey Mouse one. These are one. cupcakes. How did you do that? Because when I tried to look at stuff, it said we were too close to the ceiling. I did it the day we booked. Oh my so. god. <laughs> oh. That's very that's nice. Us. Oh, and you already have one of these, so this okay. is nice that I get one now. Yeah, this is um, a backpack that they give you for free if you are in the Castaway Club. And I think it's a scam so that they like you have more luggage room to buy souvenirs on board. 
No, I, I, I appreciate that because I don't have any room, so. It's a really nice backpack. Yeah. This is a really nice room. Like, this is very classy. Yeah, let's. And look how much room is under the bed. Yeah, th there's a lot of room under the bed to slide your uh, your suitcase in it. I like that a lot. Here's the bed. I kind of like. <laughs> is it good? Royal Caribbean, come get your mattresses from the same <laughs> place as Disney. Yeah. Wow, there's little Mickey's. Is there really? Yeah. Whoa. Let's, let's steal these. <laughs> <laughs> the decorations in here are really good. Also, this is really nice. Like, we're never gonna travel with anyone else, but if somebody else is, like, this gives you some separation. And like, this is technically a connecting room. Oh, is it? But you can barely tell. Like, it connects right here. Okay. Like, normally in connecting rooms, you kind of like miss out on some space. Yeah. Oh, two, two bathrooms. Oh, yes. Okay. So this is, what is this? That oh, one this has a shower. shower. So we have the sink. Look at the yeah. makeup wipe. Oh, yeah, makeup wipe thing. And here's the shower. This actually looks cool. Whoa, I like, like that. Yeah, there's a little, a little seat. like, bench thing. I like, I can still have, like, a little foot bath. So I this is, like, to. a tub, but it's also... It's good for, like, little babies. Yeah. Like, babies need to be washed in the tub. But like the shower head looks oh. really nice. This is a cool shower. This is very nice. Now what Brian will hate is that they don't give us individual bottles of the shampoo. Yeah, but that just means I'll use like an obscene amount when I'm like showering. Now let's check out bathroom number two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a little claustrophobic. Oh, uh, it's, it's not that bad. No, I mean, it's just like our, our Junior suite and... Um, oh wait, do they actually include hand soap here? Liquid wow. hand soap? That's cool. We brought Bath and Body Works and we didn't have to. Wow, we're so stupid. Wow, I wonder if every room gets this. There's like a Sharps uh, waste disposal. Oh, probably. Very nice. This room is very nice. Yeah, this room is... Um, it's basically, to me, it feels like a junior suite on Royal. But this is like a regular... Not. It's, I wouldn't say it's a junior It's not suite, that big. But it is. It, it's very nice. It is very nice. Look, look, this this, this is like where the shower is. I didn't notice that oh, before. But it adds a nice um, like architectural element to yeah. the room. Okay, let's check so, out the closet because that's very important. So safe, um, not quite big enough for a laptop. Yeah, not big safe enough for a laptop. Oh. Whoa. This is for all my jewels? Yeah, that you find on Castaway. I like these shelves. Mm -hmm. And there's life jackets, which is nice. Okay, what's in this one? It's good. This one's like taller for like dresses and pants and such. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice before. Um, but there's a thing in the ceiling. If you what? Think. The 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 bunk bed. Oh yeah, this is this like, is where a bunk bed. On be. Royal, they're oh, like okay. they're kind of thick and coming out of. Are they? I think so. I don't know. I don't know. But th this room is roomier than like the royal, yeah. like standard. I don't know. I don't know if this is a standard room or not. Let's though. compare it to our Allure of the Seas room. Yeah, it's bigger than our Allure room. I have hiccups. Okay, so these. These are big. Oh, that's a nice looking hair dryer. Okay. Obviously, what? I can tell. Wow. What? Please place your heated styling tools on this protectant mat. There's so much storage in here. It's bananas. And we have a fridge here. Probably a cooler. I wouldn't trust this with like milk or, or anything like that. Yeah. I want to check out the balcony. Yeah, we have to check so out. So we're the on deck six. Did we say that? Yeah, deck six. 6120 is our room. Which I kind of, I think we lucked out because it's I very was, midship. I was a little bit worried about um, a lifeboat being right next to us, but let's it is kind of below us, but I feel like we lucked out because it's like the, the, we can still see the sea. Oh, okay. We're kind of in between. In Oh wait, but this one's lowered right now. That's not its oh. normal position. This but is the normal still? position. Look, but that one's like out. Oh, 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 I get it. Yeah, they're like testing that one right now. But we'll still, we're in the gap between them still. Yeah, we are in the gap. Um, if we did like have an emergency, we'd probably just jump onto that one. No need of going to the assembly station yeah, because that would just so be a waste of time. Yeah, um, this is a new view of Port Canaveral because we're usually on that yeah. ship. There's Independence, that's what we were just on. Wait, what's the ship in front of it? Must be a carnival. Yeah, I think it is a carnival. 
But yeah, here's here's the balcony. Or oh, wait, it's not a balcony, it's a veranda. Oh, excuse me. They call them verandas on Disney. This is nice. Yeah, we have two chairs and a table. I could eat room service on that. Yeah. I'm, I, so far, no, I know we have not explored very much. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Normally, you know, Disney's expensive. But we got a really good deal. We got a good deal. There's, you know, a typhoon lagoon coming. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, There's possibly a tropical storm coming. I wonder just how many. How many Mickey's Hidden are. Mickeys are in this room. That's not a hidden Mickey. I know you'd get upset at me for saying Yeah, because there's a difference between the design and a hidden Mickey. Yeah. That's part of the design. It's not a hidden right. Mickey. And, like, even the pillows that I pointed out, like, that's part of the design. It's, it's like this. It's like looking at this cup thing. It's like, this isn't a hidden Mickey. That's just the design. This is the design. A hidden Mickey. We'll, we'll, we'll find one later on, I'm sure. I'm going to find one right now. <laughs> no, I don't think that they would be in the room. Look, this, oh, it's missing an ear. Somebody bit off the ear. <laughs> <laughs> this is so just, classy. It is Doesn't classy. it feel classy? It, but it's not nice. classy in like... Um, it makes you uncomfortable. This is classy in like a cozy way. Yeah. How do you describe that? I, I, I completely agree. I think um, the lamps are really cool. This is um, <gasps> obviously like this is like North America. Here's... Oh my Disney God, World. Like castles. Yeah, the castle at Disney World and Disneyland, and we have some of the ships. Oh my gosh, and they have Hong Kong and um, Shanghai. Oh yeah, they do. So this is Disneyland Paris down here. And then I can't see any of the Asian parks, but they're there. Oh, I can see them on this one. And then here's a photo of a uh, wow, Castaway cute. Key. We will be at Castaway Key tomorrow. This cruise only goes to Castaway Key, and that's it. I'm actually surprised that they didn't hand us a piece of paper saying, you're actually not going tomorrow, you're going the next day. Castaway does not have these mountains or houses, <laughs> so that's a joke. Also, all these people are dressed like Victorian era. Like, why yeah. are the ladies wearing, like, ball gowns? I don't know, but also, like, these are all the families waving goodbye to the ship, mm -hmm. so, like, they missed it. Like, they're late. They're staying on the island. Hurricane season just started June 1st. It's June 3rd. It's June 3rd, um, and there's already a um, predicted tropical storm. Alex is coming straight towards um, kind of like um, like Tampa and then Orlando, it seems like right now. And then um, basically, we'll, like it's going to affect the Bahamas and Castaway Key. So. And, you know, of course it's named Alex, which is my brother's <laughs> name. He's always ruining stuff. Yeah. Just kidding. Love you, Alex. <laughs> Let's so, eat a cupcake. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that like that they don't cancel Castaway Key tomorrow. Maybe we'll go on Sunday instead. We'll we'll see what happens. Why? This is Captain Minnie, but do they even have a female captain in this <laughs> cruise line? Not yet. I'll do it. Shout out to Captain Kate. So it looks like this yellow path path was actually probably the cruise before us. But here's we are we're in uh, Port Canaveral and the tropical storm is coming like right there. Um, but the bands are big enough to affect Castaway Key, which is like, a Castaway Key is like kind of like the same. Um, is this latitude or, or longitude? Um, longitude is long, I think. Or no, because it's like a ladder. Changes in latitude, latitude, changes in attitude. It's like the same latitude or longitude as Miami. So, and Miami is supposed to be bad tomorrow. So we'll see. I think it's latitude because it's like a ladder. Oh, yeah. How's the cupcake? I haven't really eaten it yet. White chocolate just isn't good. Is it white chocolate flavor? Oh, just that it. thing. But here's how I eat my cupcakes. Is it? Without the icing? You, mm -hmm. you peel off the icing? Yeah, but I want a little bit. There's always too much icing on every cupcake. So what are you going to do with the icing now? I'm going to toss it back in here. You should just throw it over. <laughs> <laughs> Feed the fish. Let's explore okay. some more. Yeah, we finished looking at our room. Now we're going to walk around and probably go on the aqueduct, I think. I think so. We're going to try to do that before any rain starts to cause things to shut down. Yeah, it might be a rainy weekend, so this might be closed. So we got to do it first thing. You know what we should try to get first? Some towels, because it's kind of windy and cold. So oh. they have towels just available. You don't have to check them out like on Royal. I love this. That is so nice. Okay, I got one for each of us. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. 
Here we are at the aqueduct, which will go over the side of the ship, which is really cool. And here's the pool deck, ready for the aqueduct. I'm so ready, I'm so excited. This was like the thing I was most excited for to get on board. Okay, we just got off the aqueduct. What did you think? I loved it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's cool. It was cool. I definitely got wetter than I thought I would. I thought oh I'd be able God. to. I thought I'd be able to keep my hair and like my makeup clean. We got soaked. Definitely, like something. There was a wave that came and just like took my hair. It didn't take my hair. It's just, it's very wet. It stole it. <laughs> um, it's a little cloudy out, but you know what they say about a cloudy boarding day. Oh yeah, it just means smooth sailing. Which is probably not going to be the case. <laughs> As you can see, they put um, a deck on top of the pool down there. As now we're getting ready for the sail away party, which will be in a few minutes. That's not something you see on Royal Caribbean. No. I can't wait to compare this aqueduct with the aqua mouse, I think they're calling it, on the Wish. Oh, because, because that's an attraction. It's yeah. the first attraction at sea. They're saying it's the first attraction at sea, but which it I think seems... is funny because it's, they're they're kind of bashing their yeah, own. Yeah, because I think this. How is that not an attraction? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But spoiler alert: we're going on the witch, so we will be able to compare. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be very similar. I agree, but it's probably going to have like storytelling elements. <laughs> That really gets you in the mood. It really does. Oh my gosh. Fanfare. We made our way to the 18 and over section and we're gonna watch us sail away from Port Canaveral. I just feel like I feel like we're meant to be on a cruise ship. <laughs> I feel very good right now because I'm on a cruise ship. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is my natural habitat. It's like in the TV show Severance when it's, it's like, except for it's like the opposite with us. It's like when we're not on board, we're like severed. And when we're on board, this is our true self. Right. We only exist on the ship. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> to you people, that's true. To you people. So yeah, this is a three night cruise out of Port Canaveral. And something crazy is that the Disney Dream has been doing this itinerary from doing alter alternating three and four night cruises from here since its maiden voyage in 2011. Consistently, it's been doing that schedule. Um, but this is the last cruise that Disney Dream is doing out of Port Canaveral. It's now moving to Miami um, because the Disney Wish is taking um, its place here in Port Canaveral and doing three and four night sailings. So we get to see the last one. Yeah. Like, that, that, like it's kind of a big deal. Here's uh, This is Satellite Falls, I think they call it, in the adult section. This is cool. I, I didn't know that this was here. Yeah, it's just like a, a shallow pool that you can like sit in the center there. I love that. Yeah, I, I really like it too. Yeah, this is like, we're like near the front of the ship, so that's like the very front. Should we go look? This is a good use of space. Yeah. Although I wish it was Mickey shaped. How can you not have two circular hot tubs we, on we, either we, side? We were talking about this. What is this? This is the Ray Dome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the Ray Domes that has a satellite or a antenna or satellite or something inside of it. So yeah, the Disney Wish is coming here and then the Dream is going to Miami. Um, the Wish was like supposed to start sailing like next week. Oh, and we were supposed to be on the third sailing of that. Yeah, um, or no, I think we were supposed to be on the second sailing. But um, yeah. now we're on the other side of Port Canaveral here. Um, but they had a construction delay, so um, they canceled our sailing and it's gonna like be like a month later where they start, when they start sailing. Independence left. Is okay, that Edge? Here's, here's the front, yeah, that's um, the teen club. Is that for like 18 year olds and 17 year olds and 16 I year think olds? younger, like probably like 13, 14, I don't know. But like that looks like an amazing area. Yeah, I want to be 13. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> Although, if I was 13, I couldn't be right here in Satellite Falls zone right now. Yeah. And then I think, okay, so like this is still the adult section. I think that's just a shower. There's a shower. 
And I think this is the concierge. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, that's fancy. Oh, there's a hot tub. Something cool about the like Disney canceling our wish cruise is that they gave us a coupon for 50% off any sailing. So, so obviously we booked a really cool room. We booked an amazing room and um, but that's going to be like at the end of the year. Yeah, it's later, but a cooler room. Yeah, we don't get to sail on it as quickly, but I think it's going to be cooler. OK, so this is um, this is the pool. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. And the bar is like in the water. Yeah. Is this also the pool? Yeah, it's just all a pool. I like this a lot. Yeah. And then this thing is actually not a part of the adult section. That's like a kid. I wouldn't even call it a pool. It's like a, a splash area. Splash zone. I like that. Yeah. Are there hot tubs over here in the adult thing? Yeah, I think there is hot tubs on the edges, but we just can't see them right now. Should we walk down these stairs and go look? Yeah, there they are. I don't think that there's one on that side. I think there's like in exchange for the bar, you don't get the... Well, let's go check. Okay. What's in here? Oh, that's... oh in here. Oh, this is the cafe. That's the cafe, Cove Cafe. Sorry, I'm too busy smelling. <laughs> we're we're going to go put on some dry clothes. Because um, we're sailing away. It's 5 o'clock and our show is at 6. So we got to get pretty. Yeah. Not pretty, but I, wet. Not I, wet. Dry. I accidentally got some um, pizza. So here's what I want to do. I want to do a taste test. Oh, Let's are we see. comparing to Sorrento? Yes. Yeah, OK. Going up you're, the gonna, you're going to be the tester. One bite, that's all it's <laughs> One bite, everybody knows yeah. the rules. I think I'm going to say Sorrento's. However, I could see that at a different time during the cruise ship, like this could be better. Like it's kind of cold right now. It's good. You need to um, give your rating out of 10. Comparing it to land pizza? Yeah, like rate it like the guy in the videos. Okay, but like this is this isn't land pizza, so this is like a three seven. Oh, three seven. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. I didn't know I was gonna be a tester. I didn't yeah. know I was allowed. But you have a different flavor. What's your flavor? Okay. Um. Uh. This is barbecue chicken. Okay. Which normally he has like he only. Um, it's cheese only. It's cheese only. Um. But you know whatever one bite, everyone knows the rules. Um. Fillmore's. Um. Uh, Flo's V8 Cafe. <laughs> I'm doing the thing. He always, he always oh, is about the, to bite the it. The name of the, okay. He always, he's always about to bite his pizza and then he'll like go off on a tag. If you don't know what we're talking about, it's um, Barstool Sports. What's the No, name? it's called, it's called. Um, That's his company, right? Yeah. But he has a name. I don't know what it's called. All right. Better than Sorrento's? I would give this a 4.3. Okay. A 4.3 or a 4.3? 4.3. <laughs> Is it better okay. than Sorrento's? Sorrento's is better. Okay. Like by far. Okay. I, I don't know about that, but. Okay, we gotta get dry clothes and then we're gonna see a uh, Golden Mickey. It show. sounds so nice. Okay, we have new clothes. So now we have to go find the theater, which I don't know where it is at all because it's been so long since I've been on a Disney cruise. Let's consult the map. But it's probably also on three. So we go down. Okay, we gotta go to four. Okay, I think we're on five, so let's go down one. Okay, we're gonna walk down the red carpet Ooh. for the Golden Mickeys. I like that. We're very excited for the show because we, we're excited to see like a Disney Cruise Line show. Yeah. Oh, I like that they like decorate with the show. They have, oh yeah, they have a bunch of decorations for the show. They have a Golden Mickey award right next to Walt. You know what's nice about this cruise line? I feel like they planned where their photo sessions were gonna be before they even built the ship. On Royal, it's like thrown in and it's like interrupting all the walkways. Yeah, it looks really cool in here. It does. So they have popcorn for purchase here. Oh my god, they even have the popcorn buckets. Wow. And Twix bars. It smells so good. It does smell really good. There's one on either side. Here we go. This is nice. Okay, so I was right. The balcony is on deck four. So is it? This is the Walt Disney Theater. Yes. What are we in, like Orlando at the Dr. Phillips Center? <laughs> you can just tell that. Disney knows how to do it like a theater show. Yeah. I don't know, just like the music that they're playing and like they're pumping in fog right now. And like, just listen to the music. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. We got our very own Golden Mickey. Wow. What did you think? I thought it was great. Disney knows how to put on a show. The show is essentially like the Oscars. Yeah. 
but it, it's almost just an excuse to like do songs from like a variety of Disney movies. Yeah, it felt like a, one of their fireworks shows. But there were fireworks. So it was. And they smelled really good. <laughs> it's all about smells. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna just like check out the ship now. Just explore what we haven't seen yet, like the adult section, which we learned just now at the show, the cruise director told us that it's uh, for adults after 9 p.m. So before 9 p.m. it's for everybody. The district. Here, here we go, this is the district. Here's a map of the district. Let's just do a circle around everything. Should we go this way? Yeah. Oh, they're doing a beverage seminar. Oh, okay, so we can't go in there anyway, because they're doing a seminar. So what well, is this? Outside. Well, let's check this out. What is this? I don't know. This is actually really cool. This is like a little hidden area, and it's actually outside. I didn't know this was here. This That's is the crazy. kind of thing that, like, you're on a new cruise line, and there's just, like, something new that you've never seen before. Yeah. I like that. We have pixie dust leading us in. Okay, so this is called pink. Whoa. It's very pink. So this is like a champagne bar. Very quiet in here. It's very quiet. There's something in Charleston that looks just like this. And everybody's obsessed with it. Well, okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> here. Can we go in here? Yeah. Whoa, what is this? This is a different lounge. Oh, this is the district lounge. This is so weird and foreign to me. Yeah. Oh, this is pub 687. What is 687? What's the significance of that? What, what are stitches numbers? That's 626. Oh. What is this? Design phase, steel cutting, block assembly, welding, outfitting and staging, delivery. It's the process. It's how the dream came to life. Oh, okay, so this is the pub. But it, it seems like it's themed to like the construction of the ship. Like we have blueprints here. This is cool. This is like a different construction photo. Wow. That's neat. Is that mini or mini? I wonder what 687 is. Okay. This one is called Evolution. And there's a butterfly because butterflies evolve just like Pokemon. <laughs> I think this is the one that's closed for the... Oh, a party. Oh, okay. So we'll never know what this looks like. But look, it looks like there's like butterflies. Yeah, it does look like a butterfly. Okay, we made our way out of the adult section. We stumbled upon the D lounge and there's Disney trivia going on. I don't know. I don't I don't know if I want to do it. We're not ready for that. Okay, but I want to do it like at some point. Yeah, we will. A little bit further down, we're back in the atrium. And look, I'm Mickey. <laughs> this is where Mickey was. <laughs> and each ship has their own character statue. Ours is Donald for the dream. We have someone playing piano down there. I like the idea of having like an atrium, like a central Spot, whereas Royal with the promenade, it becomes like one giant area. I like the structure of this. Yeah. Again, there's like a jewelry store though. I feel like it's wasted. Like put something fun there. No one's gonna buy any jewelry from there. But okay, over here we have the Vista Cafe, which we kind of need a snack because we have dinner at 8.15, I think. Let's see what they have here. I don't think this is for us. Oh, they have, this is like a assorted cheeses and olives? I don't know if that's for us. No, but what about for, But for normal adults, that's probably what people like. We came up to deck 11. They have a store called Who's It and What's It? Obviously from The Little Mermaid. I kind of want this one. This is all like swimwear for the pool deck. It's around the pool deck now. We came right outside this shop. We have ice cream. Oh, maybe we do need some ice cream. Vanilla twist. What's this? Okay, and then this. This is the thing you told me was never open. Oh, yeah? Yeah, before the cruise, Carrie was like, what's frozen treats? And I'm like, it's always closed. It sounds good. All right, should we get an ice cream? Yeah, we have to get an ice cream. It's nice that we can just do it ourselves. Yeah, self-serve. Soft serve, self serve. We gotta kick off the cruise. Ah, oh, I did it really bad. This is the problem. They 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 haven't taught me how to do it myself on Royal. Oh, so I don't know how. Maybe I can do it good. How how does it taste? It tastes good. Let's see if I 
I know that there's like a trick to this. Oh, okay, it goes very quick. Oh. It's too quick. See? I liked your method I, though. I should be, it's just there's too like fast. Two, there's two different ways of doing it. There's like the swirl way and yeah. then the way that you did it, which is like the, the drop. I almost want to just toss this and try again. No, I know. we're going to try but again tomorrow. I should be better because my parents had a frozen yogurt shop when I was a kid. So It wasn't hard scoop? No, oh, well there was both. Okay. Yeah, it should be my blood to do this. It should. But and ice cream's your favorite dessert. Yeah. Okay, I found it first. I found it first. <laughs> I can't believe this. This one's fun. This one is crazy. Look we found a okay. duck. You Wait. Have, you have superpowers. You, you have found superpowers? me. Hey, dream. Oh, Disney Dream, June 3rd through 6th. Keep her hide, no stores or pools. First time cruisers. How do they know Wait, about the what? ducks if first they're first time cruisers? cruisers? They're from Melbourne, Florida. So what is it? What is our duck? Well, it says Avengers on here, so I feel like it's supposed to be an Avenger. Okay, so he's like, like Iron Man kind of yeah. Iron Man colors, I guess. Okay, well we're gonna have to figure out where to hide this. And yeah. what's great is we have thirty minutes till dinner, so that sounds. Like no, we don't. Time. We have like ten minutes. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna hide a duck. Yeah. So we're heading to dinner now. Um, if you don't know, there's three dining rooms on board the ship and um, we rotate through them. So tonight we have Enchanted Garden, so that's our first one. And then we'll rotate through the other ones on the other nights. So for us, it's th a three night cruise and then three dinner it's perfect. locations. Yeah, I was like staring at it because I was like, what is that thing on the floor? And I was, and then I was like, it took me like 10 seconds to realize, oh, it's a duck. And then I came along and was like, look, a duck. Oh my God, I got it. Because like the colors are so weird. I wasn't expecting it to be a duck. Like, I don't even know where this hallway leads. Okay, so we're on deck two. That's his new spot. That's a good spot. Yeah. Cause look, even if you come from this way, you don't yeah. see him. Yeah. This is a little hidden. Hallway. I don't even know where that goes. No one will ever know. We made our way into Enchanted Garden. What do you think? I think it's very pretty. Okay, first thing, you got your wedge salad. I did. Looks good. It's time for our dinner time question. So if you have a question, leave a comment about anything, us or our cruises, whatever. Okay, so Ken Sessa, okay, comments, um, do you find that three days is enough to be on a cruise. So I figured this is a good question for tonight. It is a good question for tonight. What do you think? Here's the thing. If you're on an eight night cruise, you wanna be on a 10 night cruise. <laughs> I assume if you're on a 10 night cruise, you wanna be on a 14 night cruise. So there's never like enough days. Yeah. But the great thing about three night cruises is that we can do it by taking only one day off of work and so we can just fit it in into a long weekend and it's amazing yeah plus we live so close yeah so being on a cruise is better than not being on a cruise yeah i think that if i were flying i wouldn't recommend a three-night cruise but because we live in florida i would you you summed it up perfectly thank you yeah i'm so good at answering questions Okay, what'd you get? I got um, chicken breast with a baked potato and some veggies that will not be eaten. <laughs> I got the scallops, and mine looks really good. This feels so good. Uh, the warmth? The warmth. Okay. We did something different, because we're on a cruise. We're eating three desserts tonight. So what's this one? This is the sticky date pudding. No, sticky date something. I think that's right. Right? Okay. I don't know. I have a, a chocolate ice cream sundae. And this is a chocolate torte. Yeah. We're going to be babies tonight because you woke up early this morning. We had a late dinner. So let's see. And I'm cold and I want to go in. And will we have a gun? I don't know. I'm gonna guess no. Cause it's night one. <gasps> Whoa. It's a crab. Wow. I love that they use the blanket. <sighs> That's cool. And I like how there's chocolate. We get chocolate? Wow. This oh, it says sweet dreams. Oh my God, it does say that. Sweet dreams. This is cool. We've never had a crab before. No. This is nice. Yeah. And they like changed the bed. The problem with this is I need to use that blanket because I'm cold. It's like this is a much bigger gust and I think it's because they're using a blanket instead of a towel maybe. 
I agree. So as you can see, we left Port Canaveral and we're heading towards Castaway Key. And that's our stop for tomorrow. Um, this cruise only has one stop. We are not stopping at Nassau. I think, I think this yellow track is from the previous cruise. This cruise is like kind of unique because we're only stopping at Castaway and then we have a day at sea. I think normally this three night cruise does Castaway, Castaway and then Nassau. But I think it's probably the, for the best for us because while we are supposedly stopping at Castaway tomorrow, I feel like they're going to try and not succeed to stop there. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Because of the, the tropical cyclone or whatever. Yeah. So I feel like it's good that, you know, potentially we could stop at Castaway the next day. Well, so if uh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It's nice to have that day open. Currently planned, what they just told us is we're going to Castaway Key tomorrow. So we'll see you there. Hopefully. Coming up in our next video. Tropical Storm Alex causes us to have an unscheduled sea day. But of course, we still have a great day on board. <laughs>